the company is obligated to issue a 1099 so that the contractor could use that 1099 to um, attach to report their income for that year. So it's kind of like if you're privately employed, it's like a double E2. Hi everyone, welcome to my sixth YouTube channel. This is day six of being a YouTuber. Can I say that? <laughs> Okay, so on this video, this video's objective is I'm looking at my content calendar for the sixth video objective, how to start YouTube, the personal side of things. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about some of the covert dangers of doing this, you know, um, jumping all in, hitting the ground, running, head first. One of those covert dangers is you will not be eating your meals on time <laughs> so you well at least if you're like me I tend to hyper fixate on things if I'm interested in it then I will be missing those meals I will be hungry uh, but for some reason I have the will and energy to just power through that hunger and just stay in front of the computer doing my research, um, my editing, my planning, strategizing. I could do it for hours and hours. I mean, I, I sometimes don't even eat proper meals in a day. Um, so that's one. Uh, another one would be sleep. <laughs> When I first started um, diving into this, I was not sleeping. I um, would sleep probably around 3 a.m., 4 a.m. in the morning, just because I like like same thing with the meals. Like, I can't stop myself. I sit down and then I just get hyper focused, and I would just go through until my body physically can't stay up anymore. Um, so be aware of that that is one of the dangers of doing this youtube thing dehydration you're going to forget to drink water <laughs> so have um make sure you're drinking a lot of water i have been the most dehydrated i've been this whole year this week <laughs> The week that I started shooting these videos and doing all these online things. Um, next is you're going to forget your workout uh, classes. I go to CrossFit so the days that I've missed um, my classes, my wads this week is this week or last week is because I legitimately honestly genuinely forgot about them because I was so focused, um, you know, on what I was doing. Um, so that's another thing. Um, oh yeah, you're going to be on your phone constantly and it's not, it's not because, you know, you're busy just scrolling like before. How? Remember those days when we enjoyed our phones? <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're going to be on there looking up things like best editing softwares, um, tutorials on how to use the lighting, camera. You're going to look at your favorite YouTubers and see, try to get inspiration from their, you know, what they're doing, what works, what doesn't. You're going to, going to be on TikTok, on Instagram trying to figure out if uh, those could serve as uh, vehicles for you to get 
you know, subscribers on YouTube and you're going to have a lot of ideas. So I'm going to tell myself, this is me telling myself, I need to unplug. I need to pick a day of the week where I don't touch my phone and I don't do anything on the computers, on the devices and I just unplug because boy, it takes a lot of hours. Um, I think I've said this multiple times, but um, especially just starting out, it takes a lot of hours doing this thing. Uh, there is no break. You're constantly just thinking about, you know, what to do, how to do it, will this work, let me try this, I'm gonna do this, but just a lot of that. Um, and when I'm interested in something, I'm all in. Like, all of me. I'm all, all, all in. I'm all in. Um, and that is dangerous sometimes when it comes to our physical health uh, and mental health. Um, so I caution that if we, if we don't, if I don't, if you don't, um, kind of consciously put the brakes on, you know, this might this might be a car crash waiting to happen. Um, so uh, that is some of the things that I think um, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. I will link um, the ones that help me the most or the channels that I watch a lot of. Uh, and I don't think I've ever seen anybody mention that side of um, starting this thing, right? It's, you're gonna, in the beginning, you're not gonna have balance and that is something that um, we should strive for. Um, eating, sleeping, hydration, working out, um, mental breaks, that is all very important. And um, from the get-go, I think it's good to establish healthy habits when it comes to those. Um, it's easier for me or for those that don't have um, jobs because we can plan our whole day. Um, we don't have to plan around something else. So it's a little easier, but I think even if you're doing this part-time on the side, it's good to be aware of those dangers and to establish healthy habits from the beginning. Today is December 25, it's Christmas Day. I am going to start including the dates of my videos um, on the bottom part so you guys know when I actually recorded them because I think if I'm going to be recording these a month in advance you know like talking about the holidays won't won't really make sense if I'm posting this or making this public uh, you know third week of January so I'm going to be putting the dates um, so you guys know exactly when I recorded them it will be on the video down below or in this section of the video Am I getting this right? Anyways, uh, what else? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Um, mm, it's a small Christmas for us here. Um, uneventful. There's only, we don't have a big family on Guam. Uh, both my parents again are from the PI. Uh, we're from the PI. So, very chill low-key Christmas day. So another organizing tip is, um, I mentioned pre-recording, right? I'm pre-recording all of this. I'm hoping to do, I'm hoping to be a month in advance of schedule. So I'm recording everything in December and all of those would be for the whole month of January. If you look at my content calendar, you'll see that 
for January, I am going to be posting 13 videos. Yeah, 13 videos and all of those will be recorded in December. So the videos that I'm recording in January would be for, uh, I believe, February. I have it on here, let me just double check so it's accurate. Oh, actually, it will. If I uh, follow my schedule, with, which is to do a video every day, one video every day, that would take me to April. So, all of my January videos, videos that were recorded in January, every day, daily, will be for the months of February, March, and mid April, which is really good. Um, since I am doing this full time, I have a lot of time to play around. Hopefully that would accelerate my um, learning, uh, you know, the ropes, lighting, editing, and all of that. If you guys have any tips, by the way, on how, how to do all these things, <laughs> let me know. Because um, there's a lot to it. There's a lot in making a nice, professional looking video. Um, I'm doing my research. I may be changing some programs. Uh, I know I mentioned on my last video I use uh, Adobe Rush. I think I will be using Final Cut. So I might do that. I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. So get organized. Pre recording, right? Do your schedule. So far, I know it's only my sixth video, but so far I already see the benefits of doing it that way. Number one, I could um, I could do all my description. I could see my descriptions for all six videos, and I could make sure all the links are updated, are standard. They're all uniform. My affiliate codes, um, the links to other channels that I recommend you guys visiting, they will all be uniform for the month of January. And then also, it helps me create my video titles uh, in a way where they're kind of cohesive, at least somewhat cohesive. And also, it helps me um, plan my thumbnails for a month in advance, right? So also kind of make sure they're uniform, they somehow make sense all together, individually and together, and what else? I'm not rushing, I'm not rushing to, you know, film and edit, so I could kind of, if, if something happens and I can't do a video in a day, I won't stress out about it because I am ahead of schedule. So I think that is it. Um, again guys, I'm very new. Uh, I know I could be more articulate <laughs> um, in doing these, but I'm not and I know that and it's something I'm working on. So. Just watch me guys, watch, watch, see, let's, um, I can't even talk, see? <laughs> let's see, let's see if I get better, okay? Um, I think that is it for this video. On my next video, I will be talking about... Um, so what I have here is... How to start YouTube audience. This is a very rough objective for that video. Connect. Audience driven content. Okay, so that's that's what I'm gonna be talking about next. And I think with that um, comes, that's where analytics and engagement 
comes in. So that's the plan guys. How to start YouTube, audience, uh, game plan, content, audience driven content. So that's the plan, unless it changes, but that's the plan. So until then guys, bye.